This video presents the integrated team messaging between two team members of a BIM Cloud project. One of them is using ARCHICAD, while the other has joined the project from BIMX. This feature greatly facilitates the building-related communication between the designer team and the people on the construction site. Let's see a real scenario between Gary, the lead architect, and Douglas, the on-site manager. Gary would like to send the current status of the model and the documentation to Douglas. He selects the Publish BIMX Hypermodel command and sets a new publisher setup. He enters its name. The Hypermodel will be uploaded to the BIMX model transfer site with its actual 3D contents and entire layout book. In order to upload the Hypermodel, Gary has to sign in using his Graphisoft ID and select the destination of the published hypermodel on the transfer site. After clicking Publish, the 3D model and its layouts will be uploaded. Gary will be notified via an email about the successful process. The link in the email opens the BIMX model transfer site in a browser, where he can see the new model besides the previously published ones. Let's switch to Douglas's iPad and open the BIMX application. Tap the plus button to open a project and then select the BIMX model transfer as a source. You will find the model in the user profile menu. Tap the Graphisoft HQ project to see its details. Tap the download model button and confirm that you would like to open this model in the BIMX application. Once it downloads, tap the Join button to join the Teamwork project on BIMCloud. Use the previously created BIMCloud user account to log in. Note, the BIMCloud server connection info has been saved into the hypermodel, so you don't need to enter its URI or port number. Tap Done and open the model. Let's take a look at the Licenses panel of BIM Cloud Manager. As you can see, there are three licenses in use at the moment. Two users are online from ARCHICAD, while Douglas has joined from BIMX. Note, if you join a project from ARCHICAD and from BIMX at the same time, it will still use only one license, because licenses are connected to users. Also, in the summary panel of the project page, Icons next to each username indicate the type of client application the user is online from. It can be ARCHICAD, BIMX, or both of them at the same time. After returning to the iPad, Douglas opens the ground floor layout and zooms into a part of the building. Note. If you are logged in to BIMCloud, a mail icon appears at the top right corner of BIMX. This enables you to use the team messaging and communicate with ARCHICAD users. He taps this icon and creates a new message to Gary. Using the attachment button, you can include a 2D or 3D screen capture view of the model. You can also shoot a photo on the construction site. Or you can browse an existing file from your device you want to directly send back to the ARCHICAD team. Douglas creates a screen capture and then taps the markup icon. You can use the redlining tool to annotate the attached views or camera photos. He marks one of the windows saves it, enters the message for Gary, and sends the message. Switching back to Gary's ARCHICAD, a notification panel appears indicating there is a new message from Douglas. Note, ARCHICAD users will see the messages from BIMX in the same way as if another ARCHICAD team member would have sent them. Gary opens the message and reads it. By clicking the Apply View button, ARCHICAD can apply the view of the model that was used when the message was created in BIMX. 
This helps a lot to understand the context of the message because you see exactly the same view as the message sender has seen. Gary opens the floor plan view, reserves the related wall, and moves the window. After finishing, he clicks Release button and then Send and Release to send the changes to the server. The source of one of the drawings has changed, so ARCHICAD notifies Gary that it needs an update. He clicks Update All to make sure all drawings are up to date on the layouts. Gary would like to send the modified model to Douglas, so he selects the Publish BIMX Hypermodel command again. But this time, he selects the Publish an Existing Set option. He selects the previously published Graphisoft HQ set from the pop-up and clicks Publish. The modified Hypermodel will be uploaded to the BIMX Model Transfer site by updating the existing Graphisoft HQ Hypermodel. He then sends a message to Douglas about the changes he made and attaches a captured floor plan view from the affected area too. Note, Douglas is offline at the moment, but still the message can be sent to him. Next time Douglas opens his iPad, a BIMX notification appears indicating there is a new incoming message. He opens BIMX and it shows that there are updates available for one of the downloaded models. He opens the project. He taps Later in the Updates Available dialog box because first he would like to read the message from Gary. Please notice a small blue dot that appears on the mail icon. He taps this icon and reads Gary's message. Douglas returns to the project list and taps the green info icon on the right. In the upcoming dialog box, he taps Update. The update process starts and BIMX downloads the new content from the BIMX model transfer site. He opens the project and switches again to the message from Gary and opens it now. BIMX automatically zooms to the saved area, then opens the 3D view as well by displaying the moved window. Douglas finds the corrections acceptable, so he sends a short message back to Gary with a 3D screenshot. Gary opens the message and clicks Apply View on the Received Message dialog box. ARCHICAD zooms to the saved 3D view defined by BIMX. Graphisoft developed this solution to introduce further team members into projects who need constant access to the latest model and documentation. The built-in communication greatly reduces the time needed to resolve issues or to receive further information by putting the questions into the model's context. BIMX runs both on iOS and Android devices.